Airways has been forced to apologise to the Minister of State-Owned Enterprises after Checkpoint obtained an invoice revealing it spent almost $11,500 on a farewell book instead of a card for outgoing Chief Executive Ed Sims. The state-owned air traffic controller commissioned Christchurch creative agency Harvey Cameron to produce one photo book at a cost of $11,471.25 for Mr Sims' farewell at the end of May. The Minister of State-Owned Enterprises Todd McClay was unavailable for an interview but told Checkpoint the spending was excessive and unacceptable. Airways would not be interviewed, but the interim CEO, Pauline Lamb, said in a statement the company had taken full responsibility for what had happened and she's launched an immediate review of processes. The company confirmed it also spent more than $3,000 on farewell morning tea events for Mr Sims and $439 on a present. Labor's economic development uh, spokesman Stuart Nash says the fact Airways has had to apologise shows how out of touch the state sector is. He joins us now. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening, Mr Nash. What do you make of this? Well, you know, we've got mental health services crumbling, Kiwis going homeless, and we're spending $15,000 of taxpayers' money on a farewell gift and party for an outgoing CEO. It's just completely out of touch, isn't it? I don't think taxpayers expect them expect uh, their money to be used in this way in any way, shape or form. Does this point to a culture of excess? Oh, well, it would absolutely seem to. I mean, this happened in tourism New Zealand a couple of years ago. The Prime Minister, John Key, at the time came out and said, totally unacceptable, and yet it continues. And this isn't the only story. We've had this at MB, we've had this, at, as mentioned, tourism New Zealand. It's just got to stop. It's just totally unacceptable. And I think New Zealanders expect their ministers to be a lot more accountable for what is going on in their departments. Would you expect a company like Airways to get quotes for such an expense? Look, in any commercial venture, whether you're public or private, well, something like this, what you do is you go out and get a quote. It comes back at $11,000. And what you do is go, ah, look, thanks very much. I think we'll go for the, you know, for the $40, for the $40 book from Whitcalls or somewhere. Spending $11,000. You know, I assume these guys got a quote. It came back at $11,000, and I don't know what the hell was going through their minds when they said, oh, well, that's all right, let's go and spend this. Any person at any level I would have thought would have said, goodness me, $11,000, yeah, this is a little bit beyond our station. We're going to get in a bit of trouble no matter how much we like the guy, no matter what sort of job he's done. This is just totally unacceptable. That same company produced Airways' annual report. Does that worry you that that could be... A big blowout? Well, I'm keen to know how much they charge for Airways Annual Report, to be honest, because I would have thought $11,000 for a picture book is totally excessive. I mean, you go on, to, to be honest, you go into Snapfish and you can do these in half an hour and it costs you about 20 bucks. My wife does it the whole time. $11,000. Let's have a look. Let's go back and have a look at how much money Airways has paid for its annual reports. And, and I wonder if, in fact, they're being taken, if they're not being taken for an absolute ride, because it just seems totally excessive. 11000 for a book? Give me a break. But, you know, the argument could be that Ed, Ed Sims is highly regarded, has had an illustrious career, obviously very popular there at Airways. Shouldn't, doesn't he deserve an expensive gift? Oh, look, I have. I, this isn't about um, Ed Sims' competency in any way, shape or form, and I'm sure he did a brilliant job. And you know what they did? They gave him a $400 book and they spent $3,000 on a morning tea. I actually think $3,000 on a morning tea is pretty excessive. But this isn't about the job that Mr Sims did or the, or, or the way that the staff valued him. This is about spending $11,000 of taxpayers' money on a book. A $40 book or a book voucher and a morning tea is all that anyone should expect. And I just think that uh, yeah, this, is, this shows, I think, a culture of extravagance which is just out of touch and it's got to stop. Do you plan to follow this up with Airways, take it any further? Oh, absolutely. So Airway, the interim CEO has said that Airways has undertaken an investigation into this or review into this. I'll follow that up. But I would like this to go a little bit further. As mentioned, I would like to know how much Airways spends on its annual report. And let's benchmark that against other, 
uh, state-owned enterprises or, or crown entities to find out if, in fact, they're not being ripped off by this organisation that charged them $11,000 for this book in the first place. How do we know, though, that this isn't more widespread, that other state-owned enterprises, for example, could be doing the same kind of thing, spending money on these kinds of things? It's a really good point, and this is the thing. We don't know this. But I would expect if, it, if they were then they would be under the gun in the way that Airways is. And I, you know, after, um, after Tourism New Zealand bought the Dick Frizzell print at, the, at a cost of $10,000, and the then Prime Minister John Key came out and said it was totally unacceptable, and I believe actually forced the board to dip into their own pockets to pay the money back, I would have thought that would have sent a very clear message to the public service. Hey, you know what? Rein it in, be sensible, be wise with taxpayers' money, and don't do anything like this. But obviously the message didn't get through. Um, I'm assuming that Airways, you know, what has gone on at Airways has sent a very, very clear message to the state sector. But, you know, if we find this is happening, if we find this is this sort of this sort of extravagance is endemic, then we need to really knock this on the head. It's it's just I think it's time for a change, don't you? Stuart Nash, thanks very much for your time.